So don't ask me why, but for some reason I thought last year would be a good time to take over my lawn cutting duties from the lawn service that we've used for many years. So the first thing I do is go out and grab this Greenworks 20 inch 12 amp electric push mower that worked out pretty well, except for the fact that I was tending to about an acre to an acre and a half of grass. So this wasn't gonna cut it for this year. So this year we picked up this. So folks, let me introduce you to my girl Sequoia here. Now she is the Craftsman T100. The deck is only 36 inches, but I need something low profile that was going to fit in my garage anyway. And the engine is 11.5 horsepower Briggs & Stratton. Very much like when I bought my motorcycle, I had no idea how to use this thing. So today I'm going to show you how to get it started and get this sucker moving. See you in a minute. <laughs> So I'll tell you what, let's familiarize ourselves with the controls that we'll be using so we don't hurt ourselves or the machine. Now the first one and a pretty important one is the clutch brake pedal. This you're going to press in every time you want to stop and you'll slowly release it to engage the clutch. Now currently it's all the way down like that because it's in emergency brake mode. Now here on the left hand side you'll see you can put it in forward, neutral or reverse. And here in the dashboard area we have our choke and our throttle control and this controls how fast you'll be going on the right hand side you'll have your ignition your deck lift lever and this is the lever you use to engage the blades so now that we know all our controls let's go ahead and start this bad boy up now in normal cold starting situations you would want your choke all the way up at the top to get it started but since my engine's warm already i'm going to bring it down to the rabbit position and this is the position you should run the mower in when you're cutting it gives you full power. So now that we know our choke is ready, our emergency brake is on, and we are in neutral. Our deck lever is all the way up, and our blades are not engaged. Let's go ahead and start the mower. And I'm gonna turn my choke down so you can hear me a little bit better. But at this point, I wanna put my foot on the clutch. I'm gonna move it to forward. Now the emergency brake is on because I have this all the way down in the zero position. But once I take it up, I can lift the brake up and we're gonna start to move. And there you go, I'm moving forward now. So I'm gonna hold in my clutch again. I'm gonna turn my choke up to get a little bit more power from the engine. my speed up. To stop, I'm going to hold in my clutch to engage the emergency brake. I move my throttle all the way down to the zero position and I can take my foot off and the emergency brake is engaged. Even though I'm still in forward. So now we want to move and cut, so I'm going to move my deck down to the third position and now I'm going to engage the blade. I'm going to come off the clutch, move my throttle up, and now folks we are cutting grass. My deck all the way back up and now if I let go of the clutch we're just riding so guys I know that Sequoia is not the normal type of item that I show on this channel I mean look at it, it has four wheels but I want to tell you it's all related she's gonna help me tremendously in freeing up time so I can enjoy my two wheel vehicles and make a bunch of videos for you guys so I was thinking in a month or so I'll do a review on it 
because this is just basically how to get it started and ride it for the first time. And I might show you some tricks of the trade in making it cut in reverse and being able to get off of it without cutting off every time you get off that seat. So you know this is your boy Kachi's Kid wanting everybody to have a great night. See y'all on the next one. Peace y'all.